Halloween Will the Real Trick or Treat Be November 8th? By Dr. Glenn Maletti. Halloween is coming but the real trick or treat may be November 8th, the midterm election. November 8th may feel more like Halloween this year than the traditional October date. Who knows what will happen? Georgia, Nevada and Pennsylvania all have Senate races that could tilt the balance of congressional power depending on who is elected. All three races are going down to the wire. In probably each state it will most likely be the next day before a winner is determined, if not longer. The 2022 midterm election is shaping up to be one for the history books. According to a new analysis from Pollster Echelon Insights, an estimated 125.6 million Americans are expected to turn out in November's midterm contests. Such a figure would shatter the record set in 2018's midterms, which saw 53.4% of the eligible voting age population cast their ballots, according to the Census Bureau. Already voters are starting to come out in full force, as of Tuesday, October 18, at least 2.8 million people already cast their ballots in the midterms, according to the United States Elections Project. That includes the more than 131,000 Georgia voters who cast their ballots early on the first day of early voting on Monday, October 17 handily beating the previous first-day record for a midterm of 72,000, per state election official Gabriel Sterling. Spectrum News New York Issues are driving Americans to the polls. PewResearch.org found the following to be priority concerns of registered Americans. The numbers with each issue represent a percent of primary concern of those surveyed. Economy 79, Healthcare 68, Supreme Court Appointments 64, the coronavirus outbreak 62, violent crime 59, foreign policy 57, gun policy 55, race and ethnic inequality 52, immigration 52, economic inequality 49, climate change 42, abortion 40. Of course, you could conduct a poll in your community and the level of interest on any of these issues would probably be in a slightly different order. In almost every scenario the economy and inflation are paramount with voters. Inflation has knocked on every American's door and has not been satisfied by a treat. Inflation at the rate of 8.2% has been one hungry monster that has devoured American paychecks and pushed seniors back into the workforce. Available part-time jobs are now being sought by seniors who need the money. A recent poll shows a dead heat between Senator Catherine Cortez Masto, Democrat Nevada, and Republican candidate Adam Laxalt in the Nevada Senate race. In in Pennsylvania, it's Lt. Gov. John Fetterman and Arm Emmett Oz who are now very close. In Georgia the Senate race has Raphael Warnock leading Herschel Walker but the governor race between Gov. Brian Kemp and Stacey Abrams remains close according to a Quinnipiac University Georgia poll. Save some of your leftover Halloween candy for November 8. Have a bowl of popcorn for a real evening of trick or treat. Hear Dr. Glenn Maletti every weekday morning on XM Radio 131. Learn more at glennmillette.com. Like his Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash Glenn Millette. Additional biographical, Dr. Glenn Milletti is a graduate of numerous schools including Georgetown College, Southern and Lexington Seminaries in Kentucky. While here please consider subscribing to this channel.